Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we've got something a little bit special. Um, I noticed on the Ford KA owners group on Facebook, um, someone actually posted that the Ford sport car was in a practical classics magazine. So um, unfortunately it wasn't this month's issue, it was last month's issue issue so um you might struggle to find it i managed to get my one on ebay um so if you are into that sort of thing um there's a nice little review and we're gonna have a look in a sec um yeah so go go check it out it's on you should be able to find it on ebay still maybe um yeah it's the july to august issue of practical classics and here is the little sport car so looks exactly like this one um, so we're just gonna have a look let's see what they say page 80 here it is Ford sport car everybody look at that there's even a little picture of the interior and a picture of the car at the bottom tells you what to look out for if you're going to buy one guys um, if you are interested in getting one of these cars um, and here it is as well this is just a little bit here that tells you a little bit more about it so we're just going to have a look through and see what it says so here we go why now is the time to buy one of the greatest small cars ever um, and then it also says here Nothing comes close to the KA for fun at this price in 2020. And I have to say that is true because these these cars are incredibly cheap at the moment. I got mine very cheap. Um, yeah, so I mean, now is the time to buy one, and they're gonna they're sh surely gonna be future classics. I mean, they're already sort of you know getting that title anyway because it's in practical classics. So. Um, yeah, so we'll just have a look um, what to look out for. Obviously, what's coming on these is the rust around the filler cap, and it actually shows a little picture here. So it just says um, basically, if there's no rot around the filler cap, it's either being well looked after or it's being repaired. Um, so, yeah. It says about that and then basically make sure to check underneath the car for rust and that because unfortunately with these cars when they were brand new they were made you know incredibly cheap i think when these cars were new they were around about nine or ten thousand pounds so ford didn't really do a good job of rust proof on these things um so yeah make sure you obviously the seals that's a common thing on these cars if you're going to buy one check the petrol cap and check the seals they're the two most common places for rust um obviously check the kind of rear bumpers i mean so they they reveal all in this really they they don't you know it's completely not biased at all they basically tell you that you know fortunately these things can be rock boxes um but they are incredibly fun Let's just have a look here. Tells you what to pay for one. Um, so yeah, it's got that. Where was the other bit I saw? Uh, oh, here we go. So it even gives you the, um, the stats here. So it's a 1.6 litre engine, which is five speed manual power 94 horsepower so they're not powerful things but because they're so light um they, they are nippy it's the, the weight so it weighs 953 kilos so you know it's um and then yeah the, not 69.7 so you know for the money you can't really get anything you know for less than a thousand pounds you can't really get much that can do 0 to 60 in less than 10 seconds these days um so they're great little cars so yeah but 
I won't give it all away. If you guys want to grab this issue, um, you can see for yourself what it says about the 4th KA. But overall, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that, guys. The Ford Sport Car has made it into a Classics magazine. So I'm really happy about that. Um, so yeah. Brilliant. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that. Hope you're all doing good. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.